Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now just a quick one today but I wanted to let you all know that Dying Light Enhanced Edition is free on the Epic Games Store right now until the 13th of April at 4pm UK time. I'll add an expired tag to the video after that date but the performance tests here will still apply. I've got to be honest I have not played Dying Light before or if I have I've never played enough of it to remember doing so and honestly after claiming it and playing it for about half an hour today, I'm already hooked. This is another one of those situations where a free game offer has helped me discover an excellent title that I'd really been missing out on. This offer also included the following expansion as well, which I've heard is really good, and adds a new story, characters, weapons, and gameplay mechanics, so I'm looking forward to playing that too. Originally launched in 2015 with the expansion coming a year later, Dying Light still holds up well graphically in my opinion, and it will still give modern systems a good run for their money. My i5 12400F and RTX 3060, sorry, 3050 PC along with 16 gigs of DDR4 will hit 85 FPS on average at maximum which is honestly not as high as I thought we'd get but the percentile lows are very solid which is just as important. Given that this is a fairly fast paced first person game it's nice to see that it runs smoothly and consistently otherwise it could be a little jarring. It passes the performance test with my main PC that's for sure. But let's go a little bit lower. I've swapped the 3050 out for a 750 Ti here and removed the i5 in my system in favour of the 4 core i3 12100F. This is still a fantastic CPU and ideal for any modern budget build, but the 750 Ti, well, that is very hit or miss in 2023, with some games refusing to start altogether, and if they do, performance isn't always ideal to say the least. Of course, this game is over 5 years old now, so not many problems for this once popular low-end GPU, even at 1080p. This is with the lowest settings, though the view distance slider has been set to halfway, and anti-aliasing has been left enabled. Overall, this system averaged just over 60fps with dying light, again with solid percentile lows. The biggest performance issues I saw here were at the start of the game inside the opening safe house, with dips as low as 35 fps but once outside in the open world things ironed out pretty quickly. Dying Light still looks good with these settings and runs well enough to be able to enjoy with an older graphics card like this one. If you aren't too concerned with 60 FPS then you could go even higher with the settings, though personally I'd stick with this visual configuration as this first person game is more enjoyable with a higher frame rate. But that's all there is to this one. I wanted to let you know that this is available to claim for free on the Epic Game Store until the 13th of April at 4pm UK time, and as far as the game goes, well I think it still holds up in terms of visuals and gameplay in 2023. It's definitely worth the 37 gigs of hard drive space. Thank you very much for watching then, if you enjoyed this one leave a like, leave a dislike if you didn't, let me know what you think of the game down below and of course how it performs on your PC, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and you want to of course and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.